Dry heaves are gone. So am I. I'll check with the doctor. No, 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 no. I'm here voluntarily. Just got to check with me. And he's black. Thought you'd be a little more sensitive on the slavery issue. Can't keep me. Dr. House, you look a lot better. I am a lot better. Leg hurts, but it's manageable. Great job. Gonna miss you. Want to start missing you as soon as possible. Your issues run deeper than Vicodin. Well, that's not gonna cheer me up, is it? I get it. Uh, just one thing I'm getting hung up on. I can leave whenever I want. How about I start with that? You can't go back to practicing medicine. I don't want to practice medicine. I decided I want to be an astronaut. You're gonna need my recommendation. Is that a popular new treatment? Blackmail? Participate in group and individual therapy. We can work on goals. I set a goal. Excellent. What is it? My goal is to get your boss to write the letter that I want him to write. Now, let's talk process. I can smile through gritted teeth and play nice. But there are serious risks of violence involved in that choice. So I'm going with turning this ward upside down, making you and your boss's job so unmanageable that he'll write whatever he has to write to get rid of me. Nice to see you. My roommate last time couldn't stand me. Really? So what do I call you? Well, you're actually waiting for an answer this time. You can call me House. I need to request a new room. Ha <laughs> ha, you're funny. Excuse me. I know you're busy ignoring me, but my mini bar is empty. Don't worry about the name. I'm just passing through. I don't want to break any hearts. You realize you're not the first uncooperative patient on this floor. Really? Is there a club? Yes. Come with me to the clubhouse. That didn't take long. I'm back good. Shoot! Ready to play nice? Would you believe me if I said yes? No. Then yes, you're trying to be sweet, caring, and effective. You're just not. Try to work with people. Okay. He's on my team! Shut up. Nobody likes you. Am I crowding you? What? Can't see the sun? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Everything's closing in! <laughs> He's the claustrophobic one, right? I'm doing this from memory. CIA satellites aren't watching me, they're watching you. Because you're wearing green. That one's just too easy. The anorexia. Are you supposed to be a girl? Yes, those pants do make you look fat. How upset were you when you woke up in the ER? You were still alive. And a failure. I can't go up there, it's yard time right now. Put it on my tab. Her head is bobbing to her pulse. Are you a new doctor on the ward? Technically, yes. Just so brave, your freedom we will say. You close the door. I'm letting all the cool air out. It's easier to come up with a new plan in silence. Right. Cool. Can I hum? If you think nothing's working, you can always go back to your schemes. God, if only you'd said that two minutes ago. Before I came out with my new scheme, now I'm committed. Ha! Get it? You got phone privileges? I'm on level minus four. I'm still writing with a crayon. House? No, it's your other friend at the asylum. I need you to run a license plate. Was there a hit and run on your floor? Tell me about your fight. He hit me, I hit him back. Repeat until pulpy. Get it while it's hot. Are you spying on me? I'm living in a psychiatric hospital. Staring out of the window is what we do. And who's going to carry you when you're carrying the cello? Yes, cast aside the useless cripple. How very German of you. Prom? Got an assignment for you. Role playing? Not sure how pretending to be a businessman with a foot fetish is gonna help, but I'm game. I'm not gay. Oh, neither am I. Actually, I am. See that guy over there? He's my lover. He's also my psychiatrist, which some would argue is a little inappropriate. They just don't know what love is. Am I right? Yeah, I'm fun. Then my propensity for screwing things up overtook me. Then my desire to have fun overcame my propensity. 
Did any of these people rat you out as the obnoxious womanizer or the porn producer that they think you are? We're proud of him. We wish him well, and we hope to never see him again. I quit. I'm sorry. I know this will affect both of you. And 13. And the one with the nose. You need something to keep you engaged, connected to other people. You already made me get a roommate. Wilson's got one bedroom. I don't think we can get any more connected without unzipping. Roll your meatballs and keep an open mind. How hard are you trying not to make a ball joke right now? They're smoking. For balls. Oh! No, no, no! They're browning way too fast. Blue's the color you gotta watch out for. Enough! You might have saved my balls. That's the spirit. Did you even go to bed last night? Bed is for sissies. Unless you're having sex. In which case, no. Bed is still for sissies. What? You just suggested that I give in so that I could be happy. What did they do to you in there? Taste this. Mm, cool. This might be the best thing I've ever eaten. And yes, I'm including what you're thinking of now. You said it was keeping your mind off the pain. And it was before I discovered the biggest loser marathon on cable. I like to pretend they could see me eating. If you wanted a quickie, you should have called ahead. I'm a mess. I broke my toilet this morning. I'll get my tools. I blocked the intake valve so I could collect some of House's urine. The urine was clean for Vicodin. It did, however, contain strange epithelial cells. Further analysis showed they were from a Labrador retriever. We know you're back on Vicodin. No, the only thing you know is that I'm a genius who got a dog to pee in your toilet. Why is your leg better? Ow, it hurts. Let's get you some proof. Hide your eyes, ladies. House. You too. My godson made me that much. If the lab says that this is Retriever 2, please let me know right away. And explain my overwhelming desire to wipe my butt on your carpet. Hemorrhagic ulcers in the lungs. Oh my god, it's three years ago. Does that mean I'm still crazy? You're back? You look good. Well, just help me out because... I know. Are you back? Sort of. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't want to step on any toes, but I guess I do have a higher duty to the patient. If you have something to say, say it. You couldn't have just said dioxin up front? I was hoping you'd get there on your own. So, I guess we should talk to Cuddy. How was your first day of school? Didn't pee once in the sandbox. How was it with Cuddy? What did you think I was talking about? You seem to be losing your sense of smell. I think you're losing your sense of mind. Check right now if you pull my finger. I told you to get that echo fixed. The heart plus the lung ulcers. Ebola, Mabek? Too long an incubation period. And... Yes. Don't people sometimes travel? If it's best with the symptoms, then it's geographically the most... What? It's great to have the old team back together again, huh? I was wondering what that noise was. It's the damn cane. And I'm Greg. And I can't sleep with you banging around with that thing. Is that hard for you to understand? Well, only in the sense that it has a rubber tip on the end, not a tap shoe. Now you keep it down, or we're gonna have trouble. Wow. I'm just gonna sit here quietly. I feel like I've been inadvertently undermining your authority, so I'm just going to observe. I'm not going to say a word. <clears throat> Indicate a lack of hyla adenopathy, which rules it out. Staph aureus. 
So some other infection. He's wrong. The fever could be misleading us into thinking infection. Talk. Uh, I need you to spread your legs so I can do an H. Oh, by the way, you might want to close the blinds. It's really bright in here. Closest he's been to Vietnam? Ordering the Mi Crob, that place on the corner. Why do you think he's faking? I saw his mail. Private medical insurance. Not from the VA. I looked further. Online. There's no reference to him in any of the vet records. Why would he fake being a veteran? Well, just look how you're acting. Victims get pity, heroes get adulation. It's way better. Hi, honey. <sighs> How's your day? Oh, God. I'll be back at 10. I'm picking lint out of my belly button. This is ridiculous. Can I tell you something? I wasn't picking lint out of my belly button. You want to take this case because he's yet another lonely, sad puppy. You should have been a vet. It's a legitimate case. He's only agreeing with you because he wants to have sex with you. And by the way, I agree with you too, especially in those pants. I need to know what your plans are. First, we take Berlin, and then we circle around behind Poland and yell, surprise. Patient's ready to be released. She's choking. On your fingers. She House, <coughs> please take your finger off the test button. Oh, see, wow, sorry about that. I could have slit her throat. Oh, well, we're all here to learn. Dr. Cuddy warned me about you. I'm asking you as an adult to please stop. <sighs> well, that obviously didn't come from her. Baby. Don't you have school? Recess. So where does that leave us? Chase? Sorry. What? I was saying, do you think these shoes work in this color? If you need to talk, if, if you need more help. I'm just tired. I'm right here. Great. Can you be right here somewhere else? This is the part where you play the employee and I play the boss. I can see your nipples. Your turn. These kids are trying No wonder she talk. hates them. That's not hate. It's foreplay. Going by the book was pointless. You were going to learn nothing. Good. I thought it was because of the sexual tension. There was no sexual tension. There was tension, and it made me feel funny, so... Here. I was kind of getting into the whole hot-for-teacher thing. We're good. Just like this. You press my buttons, I press yours. By buttons, you mean... You do make me feel funny. Foreman expects me to read an x-ray on this itty bitty screen. Should have emailed me a larger phone. I forgot it. I guess it's no big deal, since I was only using it as an excuse to come check out Patty and Selma. Well, I feel bad. I haven't named your testicles. Word on the street is you set a new personal best for low cut. Your outbox is three times normal size. It's not a metaphor. There's a lot to be done before the weekend. Unless you were, for example, going to a medical conference. I'm driving up with Wilson. Me too. Oh, I think... I, Sure. They weren't specific. How much did it cost you to rent that? It was in Wilson's bag. Let's wait till Chase and Cameron get here. I have the feeling they'll have the good sense to side with me. Doesn't matter who they side with, I'm still in charge. This envelope is oddly medical license shaped. Congratulations. House is back in charge. We get to treat a porn star. We're leaving the team and the hospital, effective immediately. The rest of you take a history and do an LP to rule out viral encephalitis. Oh, it's just you. Here's hoping you're good at multitasking. You need to know if you've still got your diagnostic chops. I leave this office by six every day. I have my weekends again. I recognize my wife again. Yeah, I agree. It does sound pretty dull. No wonder you want to work for me. 
The only obstacle to you coming back is your wife. Maybe you're right. It's the brain. Tumor, seizure. But I and muscle are governed by different parts of the patient's second favorite organ. And neither of them wants to work here. Taub's problem is his wife, 13's problem is you, Chase and Cameron's problem is the dead African dictator. I'll have whatever he's buying. There are a thousand people in the world who want to be on your staff, but you're going after the four who don't. Back to square one. You're back in my office. So much for playing hard to get. I'm just here to help Foreman. Is that? He's not without talent. Dropping blood pressure. Can we send that off? Right, because Cameron thinks pornography is evil. Yes, Mr. Takayama. Yes. If you'll excuse me, I've got a real patient. Mr. Hitler. Really? Who's next? A guy who needs two decades worth of corn chips hoovered out of his neck, or a guy who can't stand daylight and whose blood won't clot. If you surgically drain his sinuses, the drugs will work. Nice. Tell me that didn't feel good. See you tomorrow. Not coming back. I owe you an apology. I was... I was... Sometimes you're just wrong. Last week, my cane could only do 10 minutes. What are you doing here? Waiting for you to take a nap so I can surge into the lead. Plus, on my team, you get to screw with Foreman. Every way, but literally. All four of them want to work for me. And all four of them have reasons why they don't want to work for me. Oh my God, you're right. I don't need doctors at all. I just need a good friend. Your husband killed a patient, and you're breaking up with me. T32? Put it on Dr. Wilson's tab. I don't know who Dr. Wilson is, and we don't have tabs. Do you know who I am? No. Good. I got it. It's all right. Thanks. Although, I should make it clear that for two bucks, all you get is top half over the clothes. <laughs> You're sure you want us to take out his spleen? Is that what a splenectomy is? I thought it was an ice cream treat. Yuck. Thank you, doctor. You've been wonderful. That's how you, Diana. Be well. Thank you. You're helping. So which one of us slipped through the wormhole into an alternate dimension? I have always loved to travel. I know you're trying to be nice, but I also know you're doing it because you have an agenda. Wow. Sexy and smart. Key under the mat. There's no key under the mat. Oh, right. You need to replace one of your kitchen windows. You're stupid. Well, I'm a rubber, and you're glue. Is the wait always this long? Only on days that end in day. Don't you ever shave? Yeah, once a week. How about you? What do you think I have? I'm not sure. But I think it's a lame job. Are you this rude to all your patients? Oh, yes. Don't think you're special. You're a rat. Insurance company sends you out to check on the quality of medical care. That's ridiculous. Is it really? You're an ass. Put it in your report. Sorry, can't remember if I mocked you yet for being a male nurse. I think this counts. Fair enough. Sorry to inconvenience you. Dying patients can be so thoughtless. Don't. Great comeback. Is that Oscar Wilde? Give me something or I'll get your ex-smarter half on the phone and ask her. House. Gonna be pressing charges? Against the Ottoman I tripped over? Against Chase. Pretty sure the Ottoman was acting alone. At least three other people saw him do it. Mass hysteria. I can't have doctors punching each other out. Oh my God, who got punched? Chase couldn't have punched anyone. He was with me when I tripped over the Ottoman. Oh, what happened to your face? I was mowing the lawn when the phone rang. It's absorbed by the spleen. Unless he doesn't have one. In which case, it's absorbed by the liver and fries that. 16 splenectomies. Pretty sure he gets a set of steak knives with that. 
I can outrun you. Sorry about the nose. Hold that pose. I'll start with t-shirts and mugs and uh, see how it goes. What happened to him? You beat up house? Just one right hook. You were right. I told him we need to lay down some ground rules. Wow. Well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. I know not everybody has got a body like you, baby. How about keeping down on the noise pollution? I just had a house moment. Diagnosed transverse myelitis from a cold sore. How cool is that? Uh, Patients I... really eat that crap up. That's why I'm loved. Your problem is you're not objective. Your caring is clouding your diagnosis. If you just cut that out, you would be a pretty decent doctor. It'd be great if you could play hide and seek somewhere else. My patient, no problem. Just give me the hundred bucks you owe me and I'm gone. I'm a little disappointed. Disappointment is anger for wimps. If you don't get this checked out, it'll happen again. What will? This. Cameron, get your hair in the divorce. So he's dangerous and withholding, which you find irresistible. But guys like that, they never call. I need the drugs. We're in textiles. I need the drugs! Hmm. Works for Jack Bauer. Oh, sorry. Can I talk to you for a second? I'm interrogating a suspect. Make it quick. Everyone in our building thinks we're gay. <clears throat> We're grown men over the age of 30 who moved in together. We're two tigers away from an act in Vegas. We'll figure out we're straight eventually. I hear you thought that Wilson and I like to polish each other's swords. And by swords, I mean pistols. It's Greek for you'll be back doing bad things to good people in no time. You're okay with that, right? You're not gonna put a pillow over his face. <laughs> that is. receiver doesn't respond to manual stimulation. Maybe if you took off your shirt. You know what they say, information is not power. Wait, I'm talking about the womanly art of persuasion. I said womanly. What are you doing here? Gregory House, will you marry me? Wow, this is unexpected. Say yes. I'm gonna go. No, 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 no. Yeah. You too, obviously. Have some talking to do. We're not closeted because we're not gay. For real. Wilson thought you were cute and I was just yanking his chain. Maybe that's not the best phrasing. I'm spending time with you because I want to touch your boobs. Enough to listen to Evita twice. I really hate Evita. That's how much I like your boobs. Singular sensation, every little step she takes. I will punch you in the face. I'll stop if you get rid of the sofa. No chance. Ba -da 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 -da. One. 14 year old boy, joint pain and excess hair growth. Tell him to masturbate no more than three times daily with meals. Did I mention that the 27 year old female is really hot? And her husband is really not. Wild guess. He's rich. Not unless social workers have begun pulling in the big money recently. Gimme. You're taking the case because she's hot? No, it's because she's hot and her husband is ugly. Cool. So, Beauty and the Beast. Who wants to go see? It's funny, isn't it? Yes, it's hilarious. It's great to see what a success your therapy was. We said we'd never go to sleep angry. Psychopaths always fascinate me. I think it's their cultural literacy and strong family values. Or is that Jews? We're not going to be able to get an honest read on her unless we figure out a way to get the husband out of there. Can you get out of here? Thanks. It was the thanks that did it. Hi, I'm Dr. House. How long have you been a psychopath? Those of you who haven't slept together, you can go. Everyone else, stay behind. Oh, sorry. That was our secret, right? Go have sex. 
No, thanks. Fine. I'll cover the Viagra and the lubricants. Just give me a receipt. Would it help if I slept with her? So have sex, fight, or quit. I don't care. Whatever you're doing now isn't working. Bummer. I'm gonna go see if Wilson has any liver left. Wait a minute. Is that actually a check for him? No, it's a giant novelty item for winning the lottery. You're just standing really far away. Why this guy? I don't know. He just kind of smells good and makes me laugh. Much easier to soothe your guilt by throwing money at a stranger than by making amends to a person you actually care about. You had me in much easier. I'm going to pretend to go to work now. Bing! What are you doing? Canoeing. But I seem to be taking on water. Use your own bathroom. No canoe in my bathroom. I get it. You're busy. You'll pick him up the next time he comes out of prison. Are you out of your mind? As a former psychiatric patient, I take offense to that terminology. What's wrong? You're turning white. What does that mean? It means he doesn't need football to get a good job anymore. Selling me on the notion that you didn't prank me. Maybe you self-pranked. I don't master prank. You would never sacrifice the flat screen. Oh, this guy is good. I am uh, troubled to report that we have a criminal in our midst. Last night, the fire sprinklers flooded our apartment. And before that, I found an opossum in my bathtub. You each had motive? You each had opportunity. Well, that's the whole point. Oh, I'm sorry, was my leg sticking out? I'm so distracted lately, trying to think of something funnier than fire sprinklers going off in the middle of the night. Whoa, easy there, Tiger, I know where you live. Looking at you from the state area, you can expect delays at all of them. We're looking at a live shot of viewer. expecting about an hour delay for What are you doing tonight? Masturbating. I'd invite you, but people are already talking. Come out with me tonight. I'm going speed dating. You mean you're dating on meth? Count me in. Your odds of a happy ending are nearly as good as staying home and watching porn. We should search the apartment. Eeny, meeny, miny, 13 and tiny. You brought a date? Well, some seem to think it was a good idea. Women aren't as distracted by appearances as we are. That looked deeper. You want to bet? You can't tell anyone you're a doctor. We're unemployed. They're also a little slow, misunderstand everything they say. You lose the accent. A hundred bucks. So you still walk out of here with a dozen names. I'm an oncologist. Oh, my aunt and my grandma, they both died from breast cancer. Do, do you want to talk about it? I play video games. Oh, professionally? <laughs> I'm a diagnostician. I find out what's wrong with people and I fix it. Don't all doctors do that? I'm a chocolatier. I could tell by your hips. Yeah, I, I guess I could afford to lose a few pounds. <laughs> I don't want kids. Check. Uh, I'm thinking about going from a C to a D. Quadruple check. And I'm on fire for the Lord. After six months of chemo, we thought he was out of the woods. I don't think I know anybody who died of cancer. Thank God. For you, I mean, obviously. Except my cat. She died a few months ago. These women would welcome a call from you. And these women would welcome a call from you. My. Hey, Wilson! Can't find my pornos. Have you tried offering a reward? I assume you moved them while you were dusting. I checked the drawers, windowsill, DVD player in your room. I returned them to the store. I'm not thanking you. I'm asking you why. Because if I did happen to bring a woman home last night, I wanted it to be a porn free zone. You do realize things don't have to be socks to go into a sock drawer. I'm sorry. Horribly, horribly sorry. You completely ruined my morning. I have to pull out your old family photos. Your mom's pretty hot. Speaking of movies that don't make any sense, I stopped at the rental store to get those pornos back. You only returned two. You lost the third. Drive all over town and get another copy. You have, you have it here? Oh. God! Oh, God! Okay. I was in college. I don't... The, my roommate was minoring in film. He had to get this in for some grade, and he was desperate. Who knew he'd become an actual director? He's not a director. 
He's an artist. The way he plays with light and darkness and boobs. Be not afraid. The forest nymphs have taught me how to please a woman. He added extra scenes so he could release it as a porno. Be not afraid, Wilson. You took risks for your art. Hey, look at me. No one can know about this. From this moment on, my lips are sealed. Sorry. It's okay. Be not afraid. Thanks. Though I guess I should thank whoever taught you how to please a woman. Maybe it was the forest nymphs. I'm looking to get something on the house. Couldn't you just ask the love nymphs for the secret? Don't. He took the cover off the golden bowl and put it onto this other book so no one would know what he was reading. Whatever it is, he's ashamed of it. Thanks for the gift. If these stories have helped you through some spiritual turmoil, read chapter six entitled shut the hell up i appreciated the inscription about the benefits of prayer before medical treatments chapter two bite me hi get maintenance to take that down you're dr house aren't you Oh, God, don't tell me we used to date. You're a cold-hearted bitch who ripped his heart out. I watched him struggle for years to overcome the damage you did. There's no way I'm just going to let you wheel him back in so you can do it all over again. And all this? Phase two of getting to know my enemy. You're wrong about me. But I'm glad now I don't have to pretend to like you, except for when James is standing next to me. Same here. The only difference is, I'll outlast you. Try doing that with a pen. Why don't you put that down before you kill one of us? Better idea. Why don't you give me something I can use so I won't feel the need to? Could have been an allergic reaction to something from the Renaissance Fair. Which is why we need to check out Middle Earth. Foreman, take Frodo and break bread with the hobbits. I still think a hematoma is more likely. That's why you and Chase are going to get an MRI. But you just... I said Frodo, not Gollum. Is he saying I have short legs or hairy feet? I don't even know who Frodo is. It's not exactly sanitary. Fun stuff never is. All it takes is one bad eyeball. Or testicle, cow brain, or my personal favorite, pig rectum with a side odor of sphincter. I think they call that breakfast in Australia. No one else was sick because they weren't allergic like he was. You know what this is? A wild carrot? It's hemlock, you embossed carbuncle. It's poison. Think hard. What's going on? Why can't we see William? Because you poisoned him, your royal anus, with this. A wild carrots? Hemlock. You want to avoid a murder charge? Start talking fast. Well, the good news is we now know what's wrong with you. The bad news is it's your king's precious ideals. We just pretend after all. Don't do it! Whatever you're planning, especially if you're going to use that thing. Jeez. I was just sitting in a stone. Karma works. So you're paying it forward? If this should somehow lead to Lucas dying or oral sex, so be it. Namaste. What's going on? I think your wife has Hanuk Shinline Purpura. It's pretty awful. She explains why it was named after a German. Actually, two Germans. Okay, I'm gonna have to check your holes. We'll start with the mouth. If there's nothing there, then things might have to get kinky. Say, ah. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I was kinda hoping for kinky. I love you. That is adorable. Other than you still wanting to have sex with other dudes and him bankrupting your family, I think you kids are pretty much home free.
I met the neighbors. So do you know this man? I woke up in the wrong bed this morning. Any bed you're in is the wrong one. That's not what your mama said. Oh, snap. I'll be going now to human resources. I need you in the clinic. Sorry, I'm busy. Tell me you have a case. You know, even if you don't. I have a case. Sounds interesting. I'll take it. I owe you one. Now tell me you don't have a case. I really do have a case. Or even. You guys know how to honeymoon. This is Dr. House. Aphasian syncope. He can't speak. Aphasia is Greek for loss of voice. A lot of guys syncope at the altar. There's one thing they didn't test for. A test for what? Faking. Ow! I, I wasn't faking. Well, but... You're buying this, too. Why would he fake anything? Cryopodia. It's Greek for duh. So, you have to keep the engagement ring. I'm not gay. Really? This would certainly explain the cold feet. Oh, and the boyfriend. So, you're bisexual? No. I'm straight. Cotter, the guy you met, he's gay. He had a crush on me. I left. After three years? Oh, well, it's possible. Doesn't mean you're gay just because the guy you're sleeping with is. We weren't sleeping together. What's this got to do with anything? Any unprotected sex will need to test for HIV. There's been no sex of any kind. Oh, go test your fiance for HIV. Is she the curious sort? Wait, there may have been some contact, but I'm not gay. Sodomy. One of the top ten most common household accidents. I turned my life around. I'm as straight as any of you. You don't have to believe me. I'm just saying you can test me. As long as you don't tell Nicole. I had therapy. Conversion therapy. Went to a camp for three weeks of intensive rehabilitation. They gave him electroconvulsive therapy to make him straight? To zap the fabulous right out of him. Run an EEG. See if they straightened him or just scrambled him. Four ways to stop a heart. Electrical problems, restricted blood flow, blood where it shouldn't be. Shocks, blocks, or bleeds. I think that's three things. And cheating. Oh, no, sorry. Is how you break a heart. So we'll do an angio to see if his blocks or bleeds. You should be a doctor. Let me check out this new lesbian bar tonight. Your life is awesome. You want to come? I was telling a 33-year-old woman that she has breast cancer. No, you weren't. How do you know? Because if you were, you'd need to see the pain in her eyes so she can see the concern in yours. Why are you sitting me up on dates with my team? Tal asking me I was quirky with 13 doing it as a barking cat. I'm doing it to help you. By setting me up with a hottie that I can't sleep with? On 13? What about infection? I was talking about you. Has the little gent been wearing a tent? Remind me why that has anything to do with you? A distracted person makes a distracted professional. And destroying my marriage will help me focus. Probably. If your gaydar is so great, how come you didn't know about the patient until he met his boyfriend? The guy walked in with his bride. Wait a while to rotate my dish. It is easier to say no to dessert than to pretend you don't eat. Says someone who's obviously never been on a diet. <laughs> my life's a breeze. You're successful, smart, and you attract everything that moves. If you want to focus on the fact that you're not going to see 50, that's your choice. My self-pity's optional. What about yours? Oh. Drinks are our main foreman tonight. Can't. Pap smear. He can't tell his fiance he's gay. How's he gonna tell her he's pregnant? His therapists loaded him with hormones. Male hormones? They'll make you lactate. Except they could screw up your thyroid. That was over three months ago. We just started milking him last night. So something else screwed up his thyroid. Graves, Hashimoto's. Nope. TSH was normal. Check his prolactin level. Then MRI is pituitary. Give me your head. What the hell? I know. It's the first time you heard that sentence with a possessive pronoun. Oh, oh that. 
it's better. Mm. Huh. Okay, enough. How cool is that? You still won't be pitching a tent for your lady, but that's just because, you know, she's a lady. So, how did I get this thing? Overbearing mother. Kidding. CM's congenital. Like so many other things, you were born that way. I just want us to be friends. Funny. That's the last thing I want us to be. A crane collapsed in downtown Trenton. Don't care. My great-grandfather. No, it's just a book he wrote. Is that a pill in your pocket, or are you just happy to have a tiny pill-shaped penis? Steal an ambulance. I call the team. Tell them we got a case. House! No! I need you here. Well, he needs to be there, and he moans louder than you do. Having fun down there? Lots! Every time Cuddy leans over a patient, it's another opportunity for a down blouse nip slip. Were you never a medical resident? I hear 10, 11, and 12. Where's 13? She's not here, and the answer to your next question is no. Get the IV into her tibia. It's almost hollow. It feeds into the venous system. Which they obviously don't teach you in EMT school. So I didn't weird you out giving you that gift. Can we talk about this later? Of course. Is now later? Your phone is working down here. Switch carriers. Better roll over in minutes. Can I ask what's wrong with your leg? Crane fell on it. Small world. You think we could be friends when I get out of here? Yeah. We'll catch a ball game or a group sex show or something. I just need to know if you and I can work. You think I can fix myself? I don't know. Because I'm the most screwed up person in the world. I love you. I wish I didn't. But I can't help it. I don't even know I'm not hallucinating. Did you take the Vicodin? <laughs>